What's going on guys? I've got here a 2006 Honda CRV and I'm going to use this car to show you how to change your brake light switch. I'm also going to show you the fuse for the brake lights and go over a very common issue that can cause your brake lights to get stuck on. So to begin we're going to head under the hood. This is where we can find a fuse that provides power to the brake lights. So it's going to be behind this cover here which we remove by squeezing these tabs together and lifting upward. There is a fuse puller that you may use right here. And the fuse in question is a 15 amp fuse located right here. So power from that fuse is sent to the stoplight switch. And that stoplight switch sends this power on to the brake lights when you apply the brakes. Power from this fuse is also used for the horn. And if you find that this fuse is blown, there is a spare 15 amp fuse located right here. You'll want to make sure that your spare fuse is not blown as well. Now let's move inside the car. I'll show you how to access your stoplight switch, how to replace it, and I'll also show you what can cause the very common issue of your brake lights being stuck on. So we're gonna move down here, and we need to follow this brake lever upwards, but in order to do that, we have to remove this trim cover here. So there's a piece right here that we rotate to the right and then pull it down. And on the left-hand side, there's a clip that you may have to pop down as well. You can then pull this entire cover out and set it aside. Now, following the brake lever upwards, we can see here is our brake light switch. And when I push in the, on the brakes, you can see how the lever moves away from the switch, allowing the plunger to come out. Well, if you see where the plunger actually interacts with the lever, there's a rubber grommet there. And that rubber grommet can disintegrate over time and fall out. If that's what happens to you, then the brake lights on your car will always be on. So uh, that's definitely something I check for whenever I see one of these cars come in. A lot of times the battery will be completely dead. You'll install a new battery or charge the battery and then the brake lights will be stuck on. And many times you can find this disintegrated piece on the floorboard. Now, as far as replacing the stoplight switch, it's real simple. You rotate it about 45 degrees counterclockwise and pull it out. Once it's out, you can then disconnect it from the connector by pushing in on the tab here and pulling it away. Now with your brake light switch disconnected, you want to take this opportunity to inspect the contacts, make sure that they're clean, free of corrosion and not burnt out. Now, when you go to install your new switch, you simply click it in to the harness. At this point, your brake light should be on because the plunger is out on the new switch. So you can get out of the car and verify that for yourself. And a note on installing it, you'll have to adjust and fine tune the position bef before you lock it in place because you can lock it in with it too far to the rear, like so. In this setup, the brake lights will always be on, or they may come on when you're not applying the brake. Like if you hit a speed bump or something, they may flicker on. On the other hand, if you push it too far in, then it may not allow the brake lever to come all the way back, meaning your brakes will always be applied slightly. Or another consequence is the brake lights may not come on immediately when you apply the brakes. It may take some time for the brake lights to come on. So you'll want to fine tune the position of this brake light switch in order for the brakes to come on the moment you apply the brakes and not any sooner. So yeah, I hope that this information was helpful for you or at the very least a good starting point in troubleshooting the brake lights on your Honda CRV. Please do let me know down below if you have any questions or advice and thanks for watching.